What's up, everyone? This is Elvis Destroyer 229 and welcome to Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. The sequel to the original Spyro the Dragon game, developed by Insomniac Games and was released for the original PlayStation back in 1999. Today, though, we are going to be playing the remastered version on the Reignited Trilogy, which was developed by Toys for Bob and released for various consoles in 2018. It has been quite some time since we last played a Spyro game. And, well, it's a little bit later than what I would usually like to do for the yearly 3D platformer. But hey, we're here now. We're gonna jump into the most recent Spyro game, which is a bunch of remakes. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start a brand new game. Now, the way that the save slots work is that it basically takes up one save slot one save slot for each of the three games. You might be wondering what exactly these two are here. Fun fact, Kayonika absolutely loves Spyro the Dragon. Her favorite game in the series is the original Spyro, and it's only been relatively recently, like within the last year or so, that she was, was finally able to 100% Spyro 2. So... The more you know. Uh, but we're going to be opening up a brand new save slot here. And while we do have our choice of games, we've already let's played the original in the original PS1 format. Man, the Reignite Trilogy wasn't even out when I did the last Spyro game. Oh, it's been a while. And obviously it doesn't make much sense to do Year of the Dragon yet. So we are delving into Ripto's Rage today. So let's begin. gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that, pussycat? Ah! Well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Gulp, you imbecile! 
You ate my scepter! <clears throat> I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! <sighs> How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Well, that was quite an abrupt start. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Apparently, this aesthetic persists across all save files. Chaotica loves to have the Spyro wearing glasses. Uh, okay, Triangle apparently does that. Is it possible to... Okay, I want subtitles on. Um... Is there any way to get rid of the glasses, or are we just kind of stuck with them? Control scheme, move list, sound, camera, map, subtitles. I am actually not entirely sure. I guess we're stuck with glasses, though. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, that was quite an abrupt start. Wanted just a relaxing time at the beach, and then we're dragged into someone else's problems. Cool. Hi, Spyro. Welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Okay, uh, okay, so gotta remember how to play. Okay, so fire is circle. It looks like it's just a straight up projectile. Yeah, it's just a straight up projectile and I can use triangle to aim specifically. Square allows me to dash, X allows me to jump, and I've got a glide. R2 is apparently also shoot fire. Dodge roll is L1. R or R1 and L1 are dodge rolls. And L2 recenters the camera. Okay. Seems like a decent way to be introduced to everything. Having just the straight up fireball as opposed to just like an area immediately around me is going to take a little bit to get used to. Not sure what exactly those orb things are. But I suppose we will find out in due time. Meantime. Ah, uh, ooh, big guy. Um. Uh, there we go. So apparently the big or enemies in general don't seem Yeah, that was for a butterfly. Enemies in general don't seem to drop gems. They drop whatever those circle things were. Not sure if that's to help with any given uh objective or is it for like an extra life? Not entirely sure. Uh, in the meantime, though, there's still plenty of gems for us to get. Okay, well, we can get rid of them. Continue to just get gems. Have been this way? Uh, yes, this just backs us back here. Alright. Well, this opening area doesn't seem to be too big of a deal seem too overly complicated. Uh, it'd be nice if I was just kind of dropped off in like a hub world or something like that. I feel like that would have been better than to just instantly start us out, like in the middle of a level. But whatever, I wasn't the one who designed this game. Anyway, there's a fairy down there. Hi Spyro, I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. Okay. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. So Zoe is my save point. Okay. And I guess... What was her name? Alora or something like that was the fairy in the original game? Okay, but what... Same thing here. We see a fairy, it's a save point. Oh! 
We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. But it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Ah, okay. So it looks like we'll be able to get a power-up or something. I don't think there were really any sort of power-ups in the original Spyro. Except like the super fire or whatever. Well, anyway. Uh, there's stuff up there though. Ten of something. And, uh, money bags. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. I swear I didn't know that was his name! I was just saying, oh boy, look at little, look at Mr. Moneybags here. It's like, oh, that's his actual name. <laughs> well then. 100 gems across the bridge. Okay, so gems are actually currency. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. All right, I can definitely see that that's gonna be recurring. Uh, but it looks like, yeah, we're definitely gonna want gems in order to get various different things. Uh, within the course of the game. Various unlocking of various areas. Definitely seems like these places are a lot less self-contained and are a bit more open. Because, yeah, it's considering that we're going to need, need to be going back, there's a bunch of checkpoints. Press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. We'll, we'll be able to go back or whatever. Uh, can I knock that down? Oh! That's what I'm supposed to do! Um... Okay... I think that's one? Okay, they're all different colors. Good to know. Three... That's four. Um... Okay, let's get rid of the big guy. Ah! There's one right here. And then... What would the last one be? Seems like it would be, like, up there? Hmm. But I can't get up there. I need, like, a double jump or something. Ah! There it is! Oh! Oh, shoot! They're only active for a limited amount of time. Seem to be pretty generous with how long that time frame is. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Where is the sixth one then? Is it like directly ab it's directly above, isn't it? No. Huh. Okay. I'm a little bit confused here. So one. Two, three, four, five. That one clearly isn't it. I feel like it's over there or something? Where's his last lantern? Looks like it should be like over here? Like around this area. Okay, so now the blue one's going away. Man, where is this last lantern? Can't do anything with that. Wait, is that it? No, that's just a gem. Hmm. I feel like this should not be as difficult as I'm making it out to be. But I just cannot, for the life of me, find where this last lantern is. Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think I've ever recalled seeing a yellow lantern. I think I just found it. I think I just found it. 
Either I'm blind or that just was not very well visible from where my perception was. Oh yeah, it was hidden. Okay. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. For a while, I was afraid we were gonna have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orbit with the baseballs. An orb. Okay, I guess those are main collectibles. I don't remember if there were anything like that before. It's basically like a jiggy, I would imagine. Um, also, I, I have no idea where I'm at in relation to everything. But I can fly. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, because... You need to always remember exactly how exactly the flying aspect works. Also, I don't feel super bad about missing uh, that yellow lamp. Oh, um, I swear it was just that. Yeah. How did I miss a gem? Oh well. I don't feel bad because it didn't seem like I could actually see yellow from where I was. At least super well. Yeah, because it's that stalactite. That's why I couldn't see it. Okay. I do not feel bad at all for missing that. <laughs> okay, now where was the flying guy? Or was he from up there? He was from up there. Um... Apparently I can't do anything with you, and... Get up here? I want to try to get back up there. Um, doesn't seem like I can though. I guess that was a one-time use. Good to know that I basically wasted it. Well, I don't think I really wasted it. I think I got the... Ow. No, I totally wasted it. There's still gems up there. Oh, well. We'll be back here anyway. So, not like it really matters all that much. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. I got a pickaxe. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Okay, cool, a hub. Perfect. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Uh, okay. That's actually good to know that I can see everything there. So there's 400 gems total and three of these orbs. Um, but if I'm gonna need to come back here anyway then I don't quite feel as bad uh, just leaving and coming back. I usually would like to try to get everything in one go, but if that's impossible, that's impossible. So, we'll just get as far as we can and just go from there. chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. 
If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Okay, so I guess Alora is the fawn, not the other fairy, and I hate the subtitles. Let's turn those off. They are way too big for what I really want. Oh, hello, Sparks. Okay, so at least we're in a hub area now. So Glimmer was where we were at before, and we already got the thing there. We have ourselves a butterfly. Ooh, a bottled butterfly is an extra life. Okay, cool. Um, Summer Forest, 400 gems and four orbs. So there's orbs even in the hub worlds. Interesting. Sheep there, but I don't need a torch. Another extra life. Kind of generous with the extra lives here for being the first hub world. Okay, so there's Alora. Um, there's water. Uh huh. Okay. Where was her? Looks like there's stuff down there. Uh, okay. I guess we'll have to come back to that at another time. In the meantime, let's just head on over into the fortress itself. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. So, sh she said there were 14 talismans. Does that mean there's just 14 levels? Or maybe not every world has a talisman. It's possible, I guess. Uh, let's see. Another gem. Here's this water look kind of... Is it shallow? shallow. Oh, okay, well, definitely didn't hurt me. Um, okay, so certain water doesn't hurt. Good to know. Is it just shallow water, or is it all water? Uh, I'll talk to you later, Hunter. I must experiment! Okay, uh, so if we jump down here... Okay! Does not seem like water hurts us anymore. Cool. Um, there is... There's bottles, though. Is there any way to dive? Uh, triangle just does that, circle does that, X jumps out. Um... Ah, no! Pushing all different buttons. Um, okay, so I... Maybe... Maybe swimming uh, down. It looks like there's... Yeah, there, those are definitely gems. Okay, so there's definitely a way for me to dive in it. And it doesn't seem like water in and of itself hurts me anymore. But diving might be something that's unlocked later. So we'll just come back to that. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge. So I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Thanks, Hunter. I already know that. <laughs> Honestly, saying that water doesn't hurt me would have been a lot more helpful information. But whatever. I see money bags again. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Idle Springs. Alright. Um, let's see what all is available to us while we're 
here. Um, okay, made of metal. That's Hunter again? What the? How? How did you? You know what? Don't question it. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay. Was I supposed to talk to Hunter again? I think I was supposed to talk to Hunter again. I figured it was a race. I guess not. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Hunter, you just taught me to do that, and I already knew I could. Nice job. Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. What? Okay, that's different. Oh, very interesting. That is extremely interesting and also something new. Thanks, Hunter, and I mean that very honestly. Good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Okay, so that is where my ultimate goal is, okay? Do that, that. There we wow, go. you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Hey! Unfortunately, there's not really a whole lot of fanfare, so I can't really do anything like... Like the you got a jiggy or you got a moon <laughs> Sadly, no fanfare means I can't really do that <laughs> I, mean, I could try to make something up, but that would feel very forced so I'm not going to uh, Money bags is oh. the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator Spyro the brighter he is the more hit points you have Thanks Zoe. I already kind of knew that I played Spyro 1, but thank you. Hey, money bags. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Learning to swim underwater costs 500 gems. Okay, well, at least I have confirmed that there are indeed just various things for me to upgrade. I mean, the latter was kind of obvious, but at least swimming underwater was also part of that. I need 500 gems. Colossus? That sounds like a boss. Um, okay, but we're gonna need to get a lot of gem. Did I manage to break that metal vase using fire? Maybe vases don't matter so much. Okay, um, I don't think there's really a whole lot here. Well, wait a minute. I didn't get a chance to see what was over that way, because I was doing the thing for Hunter. Uh, we are running pretty low on time, though. So we'll see where exactly this leads. Oh no, I failed! Right when I figured I was doing so well. Nah, it's fine, we can get back up there, no problem. Byro. <laughs> Okay, so do that. Yeah, it doesn't give you a lot, but at least gives you something. This one's tricky. Walk to the edge, press the jump button, press jump again at the top of your jump, then press. Okay, uh, Hunter, we already got your thing. I just wanted to see what was over here. And it actually doesn't seem like there's anything over here. Uh, ooh, hold on. What? What is that? What is that over there? Huh. You gonna say something different or no? Wow, you're a pretty... I think the game glitched. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be any sort of first, like, a blind platformer if there wasn't any sort of glitch. Anyway. 
Now that we finally got our, well, footing in Spyro 2, I think now is probably about as good as time as any to call it a day. So, next time on Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. We have ourselves another level that we can get into. The Idle Springs. After that, it seems like there's some sort of boss called the Colossus. So, we will go ahead and try to get as many gems as we can get for money bags over there. And just see what all we can do in terms of getting everything. There's still a lot for us to get. And I can already tell this game's gonna have a lot of backtracking. Plus it also helps if I can get any gems that are hidden in the grass. Uh, so we will be just kind of jumping to and from whatever we need to. And we will see where our adventure goes from here. Until next time, everyone. Take care.